and Heidi Lovelace and Kimberly wasting absolutely no time taking it to the American death machine, Sammy Callahan and Chris Dickinson as Callahan shows Heidi Lovelace why they are called the death machine with that punk kick right to the face. Eric Corb is here on commentary, joined by Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place. And things are starting to get a little uncomfortable a little early, huh? Starting to, have you been here for the entirety of the dream left behind? I feel that there's some people that left their souls behind in that ring tonight. Just stepping on the abdomen of Heidi Loveless. Now, Denver, can you explain to me, Heidi Lovelace, she worked together with Team Pazuzu. Look, plain and simple, Pazuzu used her. That's all there is to it. And once she caught on to it, what is she gonna do? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Do I think that her and Kim can coexist as well as Sammy and Dickinson? I don't know, that's why we're having this match. If it was up to me, I would've put Dijak with Kim. But Dijak's over in Europe, so. But I mean, think about it. The reason that Dickinson and Callahan came together was they originally were feuding with one another. They had some of the best matches in the tri-state area on the East Coast. And I feel it's a very similar dynamic with Heidi Lovelace and Kimberly. They have gone toe to toe. They have taken each other to the edge. And here they are now on the same side of that square circle against the American death machine. Dickinson's just showing off her hair. One leg, alternating squats. Doing the grape crushers. Man, he just crushed Heidi Loveless. Thinking he was going to that stalling suplex, sits out in a, in a Falcon Arrow move that Dickinson is well known for. Man, Dickinson, this guy is ready to explode in 2016. You want to talk about Dijak being in Europe right now. That's where Dickinson's going to next. But you know that he wants to go making sure that he has put Kimberly away. He has washed his hands of her. The incident, he wants to excuse Beyond Wrestling of exploiting Chris Dickinson. I didn't put a gun to his head and tell him to Pazuzu Kimberly into a ring bell. Are we even exploiting. allowed to talk about that moment anymore? It's a moment that's defined Beyond Wrestling, but right now, let's talk about Sammy Callahan, Heidi Loveless, two of the wrestlers at the top of their game, but Heidi's worse for wear. Kimberly and Heidi Lovelace came into this match with a game plan to get, try to get ahead of the game a little bit. And a back American deck machine. And back it works for a moment. It worked for a moment until that pump kick from Sammy Callahan. And it seems like Callahan is almost, almost enjoying himself. I mean, he hasn't been a member of the Beyond Wrestling roster for very long, but he's already met in main eventing shows alongside Chris Dickinson, picking apart Heidi Lovelace. I can't speak to what goes on at NXT, and I'm not gonna pretend like I do, but the Sammy Callahan that you see today here in Somerville, Massachusetts is a lot different than what you saw presented on the WWE Network. And with that said, as long as I've known Sammy, even though he never competed for Beyond Wrestling prior to getting signed by the WWE, uh, the kid's gonna screw loose, and it seems like somebody like Chris Dickinson brings out the absolute worst in Sammy Callahan. I mean, you look at somebody like Callahan, like you said, he, he was on the network, he was in developmental, but they never really gave him his due. They never Well, really look what let, they developed! They developed a monster! They never really let Sammy be Sammy, and now he's coming back onto the independent scene with, and to quote you, that wild hair on his ass, that chip on his shoulder, he has something to prove. Look at him right now! He's a maniac! He wants to get back in there and continue to punish Heidi Loveless! You're gonna be kidding me! And then you got a guy like Dickinson, he's not gonna cool off the situation at all. He's just gonna make it worse. Oh yeah, Dickinson is like the king of fanning the flames. An, an absolute shit stir, I can say it. But the thing about Heidi is she has so much heart. I mean, she came from Billy Rock's training program, which at one point, I mean, you gotta, th you gotta think that she's gonna be the top contender coming out of that program. And something you have to give Lady Lovelace is she has seen the inner workings of Team Bazuzu yes. firsthand. Yes. That gives them a huge advantage. But Callahan was not part of the equation back then. But this isn't about Team Pazuzu right now. This is about Dickinson versus Kim. And you know, 
it's almost like playing a game of chess. You know, it's not just about the queen. You have different, uh, you know, you have different elements on that playing field, and it's almost like this rivalry between Dickinson and Kimberly has, has unfortunately sucked some innocent bystanders into it. I mean, but front and center, you see Heidi Lovelace, who's getting the life choked out of her, who was simply a pawn in this game. See, I gotta disagree with you there. I don't feel like the strings of Heidi Lovelace were getting pulled. I feel she is in that ring 100% willingly. She was not manipulated into it. She felt like she was being used, maybe, and this is her opportunity maybe to right speak now, in the face of Dickinson. Maybe right now, but she put herself in Pazuzu to begin with because she felt like she deserved a spot on the Beyond Wrestling roster after her match with Brian Fury, which you can watch for free at youtube.com slash beyond wrestling. But let's face it, that's not how it works at Beyond Wrestling. No, 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 no. But she certainly earned a lot at a lot of different other organizations. It would be a shame to see her put out right here by Chris Dickinson with another Pazuzu bomb. But I'm telling you, man, she's got the type of tenacity that you very rarely Whoa. see. That never say die attitude. She's about 10, 10 feet away from Kimberly, and Kimberly just got punched in the head. It's absolutely ingenious move. You may not agree with it on behalf of Sammy Callahan, but that was smart. We don't want Kimberly in there right now. We want to take advantage of who we've been putting all the work on, and that's Heidi Lovelace. Sammy Callahan is a few seconds away from inciting a riot here in Somerville. And I can't blame Heidi Lovelace for coming in and aligning herself with Team Pazuzu. When she came in and aligned herself with Team Pazuzu, Team Pazuzu was in control. Now what is Dickinson doing right here? There's absolutely no need for this. You want a team with her? After everything I've done for you, I brought you here and got you your spot in Team Pazuzu. And this is what you do. Yeah! Yeah! I'm going to give you a choice. Right now, before I Pazuzu bomb you, out of the damn way! You come with us, and you join where you know you are welcome, or you can stay with that piece of trash, and you can suffer the same thing she's gonna suffer in hell! The Dickinson laying it out all I'm on the line. Offering Heidi Lovelace a spot in the United States death machine, but he just whooped her ass for 10 minutes to get to that point. I don't think I trust Dickinson. Yeah, but she knows, she knows what's on the opposite end of that punishment. Does she really want to go through it anymore? Ooh. Oh, I think we got our answer, and Dickinson got a kick to the back of his skull. Heidi Lovelace letting Dickinson know exactly what she thought about that offer and dragging herself, dragging herself over to her partner, Kimberly. She needs, needs to make that tag if they have any opportunity to just, win this Just match. a few inches away, but it must feel like late years. She's so close. Heidi's gonna go the extra mile. Oh, no. just, just fingertips, grazing. No. That didn't count, Quinn, come on. Kick it, Dickinson off, Dickinson stole first in a Sammy, and here comes Kim. Kimberly thinking better of it, got herself perched off on that top rope. Using all of her body weight, she's outsized by Dickinson almost two to one. Yeah, but uh, like think, think about where Kimberly is at physically right now. She has not been a participant in this match for the entirety of it. She has all the energy in the world. That's true. And unloading it on the face of Chris Dickinson. Yeah, but Chris Dickinson's made her walk through hell before. And, you know, want to talk about conditioning, how much muscles you're carrying, all that stuff. That's not a factor when you think of the personal animosity between these two. And tonight, hopefully, the oh. final, final encounter comes to the head. But this is the X factor in this match. This is the new intangible, the wrench thrown to the mix, Sammy Callahan. Kimberly finding herself in a very- Is he gonna hit the Pazuzu bomb? No way. There's no way. Caught him with the knee to the temple. Sammy's collapsed. Dickinson's struggling to get himself back up to his feet. I don't know if this is a wise decision trying to get Heidi Lovelace back in the mix. Time will tell. Oh, Sammy stand one step ahead. It didn't take a lot of time to tell there. Oh, and with a knee strike of his, oh my God. And right, when they put together this match, this is not the position that I think Kim and Heidi pictured themselves in. Well, let's be real. How much strategy did they really talk over? Oh, face wash. Caught Kimberly with that one with a glancing blow, but he's got his sight set on Heidi. I think that just refusing the offer to join the United States Death Machine has incited the Callahan Death Machine. You see him just coming in with that hip. That 
that hip and that thigh right to the side of the face well, of both Kimberly and Heidi Lovelace. Think about it, that's the largest muscle in the body. Think of the power that you can explode from that position, just kicking her with the boot of the, you know, the, the sole of the boot going across the face. Looking for another one. He heard Kim coming in. No, with the roundhouse. That was a mistake. Taking a sight off of Kimberly. Well, he heard the noise of Kimberly coming into the ring. Heidi going up to the top rope. Oh. Top rope sets on Kim going up. Can she find her footing? Yes, the Swanton bomb. Double cover. Is the referee going to allow this? He is Get going in a position. to position. Dickinson just smothered him. Callahan making that mistake. He heard Kimberly. What is in. Dickinson doing right here? What is he possibly? No, they're, they're, <laughs> what could he have possibly had? A double Pazuzu bomb? You're telling me he's not strong enough? Ah. Listen, man, I could I could suspend a lot of my opinion, but I don't think Dickinson has that in him. <laughs> well, I didn't think he had that in him, but look at the agility. Both members of Team Loveless rolling through. Ooh. Dickinson with a kick. Super kick. Dickinson gets caught a second time. Kimberly is staggered, trying to coordinate some offense. Uh-oh. Oh, spiked him on his head. That could be it. Two Callahan back in. Kicked her right in the chest. Rolling it over and Kim with a kick of her own. Coming back and forth. Have you ever seen anything like that? The first time I've seen something like that. Oh! There's a lot of times in professional wrestling where, where you look at the card with your own eyes and you think that it's a mismatch. You look at Kimberly and Heidi Lovelace versus Dickinson and Callahan, and you think there's no possible way they're gonna go toe to toe. And then you come here to Somerville, Massachusetts and see it with your eyes and they prove to you and everybody here that they are two of the best wrestlers, not women wrestlers, two of the best performers in professional wrestling right now. Heidi Loveless fighting both members of the United States, Death Machine. Oh, but she got caught right there, caught in the tombstone position. That's even worse. What are you doing, Jumping Sammy? Under hooking those legs. Oh, 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 no. She's dead. One, She's not two. breathing anymore. Oh. Denver, Colorado, I was, I was ready to lay my microphone down on the floor and call it a night. How do you kick out of something like that? Kicked in the back, dumped on her head. Listen, you she's gotta be she's gotta be numb in every extremity in her body, but she still has the will to fight. You were talking earlier about Heidi Lovelace's heart, and I don't think that you've ever witnessed it as much as that exact moment. Oh my god, looking for a two-man Pazuzu bomb. And they're not laying her down. Just eating blow after blow. Oh no. Oh no, double crucifix, Pazuzu bomb. Callahan and Dickinson going for it. Kimberly able to make the save, getting underneath Heidi Lovelace. Oh no. Well, she just did her partner in nice and good right there. Yeah. Heidi it, is lying motionless in the ring. If she wasn't breathing, I would think she was dead. <laughs> Heidi earned a moniker like the Death Machine is with a performance like this. Uh oh. Now maybe calling for a double Pazuzu bomb. Hey man, it, it's been a long time since we've seen Chris Dickinson and Sammy Callahan tagging as the American Death Machine, and it seems like they never missed a day. They are they are just smooth working machines. My God, if they can get on the same page, what a tear they're gonna have as a tag team in 2016. But they gotta get through Kim and Heidi first. They're Thought not they're just looking to win this match, they're looking to end their careers. Yeah. But that's been Dickinson's MO right from the start. That he's trying is, to What is he doing? Career. Is he going for Is he going for the Pazuzu bomb oh to the god. outside? Oh my god. Oh and no. Heidi just in the nick of time. And referee Kevin Quinn did not see that low blow. Oh no, and Kim's going for a Pazuzu bomb of her own. Oh! Jumped him right on his head. Rolling him over. Got the legs hooked, the alligator clutch. I don't think there's
there's ever been a better representation of retribution in Beyond Wrestling than the moment Kimberly fed Chris Dickens in a Pazuzu bar. Kimberly has had a tough year. It all goes back to March 1st. 2015, when she challenged Chris Dickinson to an impromptu, anything goes, mis no disqualification match. But after almost a full year later, Kimberly, with the assistance of Heidi Loveless, has finally put Chris Dickinson, Team Pazuzu, and the United States Death Machine behind her. Any question that you had of Kimberly and Heidi Lovelace being able to work together as a team has been put to rest. Kimberly receiving her retribution against Chris Dickinson, the American Death Machine, Team Pazuzu. This is beyond wrestling, the dream left behind. And Kimberly left everything behind in that ring tonight. Please, look mom, no fans.